We have some breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have cut linebacker to here Whitehead. If you're a loyal subscriber of the show, this really should not come as much of a surprise considering the fact that I have talked about this for the last two months. And in fact, I made a video about a month ago that the Raiders probably are going to move on from Tahir Whitehead. When you think about what the Raiders were potentially thinking in this move, you got to look at depth. You got to look at over other linebacking targets. But you also have to look at the money that they're going to save by moving on from Whitehead. So I want your one-word reaction to the Raiders cutting to here. One-word reaction. So we're live here on YouTube. We're live on Facebook as well. Chindo Ramirez says, what up? It was uh, unvoidable. That one's from Daniel. I totally agree. Roger says, just win, baby. I think this is a move that is going to help us. Well, just win, baby. So give me your one-word reaction to the Raiders moving on from to hear Whitehead. Somebody said money because the reason why that's an important word, money, by cutting to hear Whitehead, it's going to save about $6.25 million for the Raiders this upcoming season. Now, Whitehead was scheduled to make about $7.29 million. His dead money hit was only $1.04. So, yes, he will still get $1.04 million. But I think when the bigger picture here is for this Raiders team, is you needed to move on from Whitehead because the dude was a below-average cover linebacker. Sure, he's had four straight years of over 100 tackles. I've heard a lot of people say that to me. But I think tackles are just one of these stats that are kind of overrated a little bit because also you got to look at the fact, well, Raiders didn't have a lot of other pieces to get tackles last year. So I'm going to show you the stats of his past four years, but what the Raiders need is a linebacker that's going to make plays more than just tackles. That's what we need. We need a linebacker that's going to force fumbles, that's going to get after the quarterback, that can do more than just good tackles. Now, I think Whitehead was a leader. It was a reason why he wore one of the C's on his chest, and I know he was a very well and respected player in that locker room. And I heard he's a very good dude, and he's a great man in the community, so he will be missing that regard. But if we're trying to get better as a football team, there are a lot of really solid linebackers out in free agency. Go check out one of my videos, the top six linebackers that the Raiders should target. I'm going to make an updated list because, well, Blake Martinez for me is uh, not so higher on my list anymore. But let's look at Whitehead's stats just this past year. He did have one pass breakup. He did have a quarterback hit. And he did have six tackles for a loss. But, uh... If anybody actually watched the Raiders football games, this is the stat that I want to bring up that every single person should look at. And if anybody's like, why would the Raiders ever cut to your white ad? He had 108 tackles. This is why. Because he couldn't get it done in coverage. And when you're going up against Patrick Mahomes, you're going up against all these NFL teams that are going to try to spread the football around a little bit more, you need to be able to cover. So what you're seeing on screen right now is when targeted, to hear Whitehead gave up 81% completion percentage. That's not good. He gave up 616 yards, seven touchdowns. What was one thing that Mike Mayock said that they are really, really looking for in the draft? A linebacker that can cover tight ends and can cover running backs. Now, we need to find a linebacker that can cover our uh, ASS because it's getting thin. I would almost argue now by cutting Whitehead, it could be our biggest need. Now, wide receiver is still a major, major need. Now, we still have Morrow. Compton's a free agent who I don't expect to be back. Kyle Wilbur, another free agent that I don't expect to be back. Vontez Perfect, again, another free agent that I do not expect to be back. So, you want to see the Raiders be extremely active in free agency. And like I noted before, I put out a show about some potential free agent linebacking targets. The one name that is not on this list, it's Kyle Van Noy. Cal Van Noy is probably my most bang-for-your-buck linebacker. So out of the names on this list, we got Corey Littleton as my number one target. I'll put Joe Schobert, Jamie Collins. They're probably flip-flopping there. I think Joe Schobert is more likely to be a Raider than Jamie Collins. Blake Martinez is kind of the same player to hear Whitehead is. I would only want to bring in Blake for more a little bit of a depth play. Yes, he has had over 140 tackles the last three years, but he's not a very good cover linebacker. And the Michael Kendricks, well, he's, uh, he's okay. But for me, I think the most realistic Raider targets, Corey Littleton, Joe Schober, and a name not seen on screen, Kyle Van Noy. So how about this? Those are just six names that I mentioned. I want you to name a linebacker 
that the Raiders should sign in free agency. And yes, I see the super chat. We'll get to it in a little bit. Depending on how many people we get watching live, maybe we'll open up with a nice little Q&A. So name a linebacker that the Raiders should target. I'm going to give some shout outs now. I'm seeing um, Jacob Phillips in the third. Willie Gay, those are draft players. Linebacker at 12 now. It's going to be something that we're going to be talking about. Um, Barrett says, I deserve respect. Appreciate that. We're live, so make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Who else? Nick? Oh, boy. Name a linebacker that the Raiders should sign. We will then a little bit here. Bobby Boucher from Matt. Love it. Corey Littleton, though, that's my number one player. We will get in now to some uh, draft prospects that I want the Raiders to look at. But that's after I tell you guys about this amazing shirt. Raiders against the world. How many people watching this feel that the, the world is against the Raiders? Type 1 if you agree with me. And if you want this t-shirt, jatsports.com slash Raiders World. It's only $24.99. You can go to the link. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it in the chat below. So all you got to do to get that t-shirt, click the link. And if how about this? For anybody that's bought it, because I know a lot of people have already gotten it, DM me on Instagram at MitchellRent365. I'll get a picture of you wearing the t-shirt on screen. Sound good? Okay, chatsports.com slash Raiders World. So here are the Raiders 2020 draft picks. Because by getting rid of Tier Whitehead, now you got a really, really major need at linebacker. And for those of you that might just be tuning in, I will say it again. The Raiders have cut to here Whitehead. But in the first round, we got picks 12, 19, and then in the third round, 80, 81, 91. There are five linebackers that I know the Raiders have on their radar. And here are five names for y'all. I know Isaiah Simmons is a player that Mike Mayock absolutely loves. And if you guys watch the show, you know that Isaiah Simmons, that's my dude. I would love for the Raiders to be able to get him. However, I think he's going to be a top five pick, and you're probably going to have to trade up into the first round to get him. So Isaiah Simmons had an unbelievable combine. I would actually, you could even say that he could be a top three pick. Heck, I would even make an argument that you could take him over Chase Edmonds. That's how much I like this guy. And then Kenneth Murray, solid linebacker out of Oklahoma. He got spread out a little bit in the Big 12, which I actually kind of like to see if he can, you know, cover sideline to sideline. Patrick Queen, I am starting to become a bigger believer in Patrick Queen over at Kenneth Murray. And then some names that, you know, I haven't really brought up here too much. Malik Harrison and then Akeem Davis Gaither. I like him a lot out of Appalachian State. And actually, I made a show on my first Raiders mock draft. I had the Raiders taking Akeem Davis Gaither. Don't be surprised if they go with him. Because especially in round three, he's a little bit undersized. But if you need a linebacker that can cover, Akeem, he can do it. And if he grows into his body, I'm telling you right now, he could be a very, very good player about three years down the road. So here's some top linebackers in the draft. But I want you to name a linebacker that you want the Raiders to draft, okay? As much as I want Isaiah Simmons, man, like... I don't think it's going to happen. If he were to slide to 12, I'm telling you what, we'd all go streaking in the quad. Name that movie. But seriously, give me a linebacker. So I see Mr. Raider. He says Gay Jr. The only issue with him is, yes, he's a little bit of a late-round steal. He had a very, very good combine. The issue with him is he's had some off-the-field issues, and I know the Raiders right now are trying to build that culture aspect. So do you really want to bring in a player that's got some, uh, we'll say, questionable off-the-field concerns? I'm not quite sure there. Gaither is a beast. This one, absolutely. From Ray Calderon, Logan Wilson. I have done a lot more research on Logan. I think Logan is starting to really creep up draft boards and whatnot. Um, let's see here. Yes, Calvin Nance is going to go Kenneth Murray. Jeff Rogers also says Kenneth Murray. Justin Black says Patrick Queen. Roger Vargas, Patrick Queen. Joe, Isaiah Simmons, man, would absolutely love it. Kenneth Murray, I want sideline to sideline speed. That one's from Eric Steen. Eric, get a picture. Okay, we got a super chat rolling in here from my man, Tedford Von Patria. What's up, my dude? Sad to hear about to hear Whitehead, but FAB forever and ever until hell freezes over. Well, if you guys want to type FAB, that's always welcomed here on the Raiders Report. But yes, I think it is kind of sad because anytime a player does lose his job, it's heartbreaking. But uh, at the same time, this is a business. We're trying to get better. We go into Vegas. We need to improve at the linebacking position. Yes, it's going to make us thin. But how many people, and knock on wood if you're with me, I believe in Mike Mayock, and I believe in John Gruden. I believe they're doing the right things. We're going to be going forward. Yes, the team's going to be young. So KOWs in the comments. I think they're going to be doing the right things. 
And again, I was not surprised whatsoever. Haters against the world. If you guys want to be repping your team, if you want to rep this t-shirt, chatsports.com slash Raiders World. If you have already bought in this t-shirt, I want you to slide in my DMs at MitchellRent365. Send me a picture of you wearing it. Anybody that buys this t-shirt, I'm putting you on the show. Sound good? You just got to slide in the DMs at MitchellRent365. Only $24.99. Chatsports.com slash Raiders Sale. I'll put it in the description. Bye. To the Raiders report, right now is the best time of the year for the show because it's when we have the most breaking news, it's when we have the most instant reaction to stuff, and it's the number one show that you should subscribe to if you bleed silver and black. So turn on the notifications, click the big red button that says subscribe, and if you can't click or find the button, I want you to go to youtube.com slash Raiders report. So I want you to join us live on NFL Daily because that's coming up next on Chat Sports. I'm going to head over there. Okay, we're going to talk about the latest NFL news and rumors. So if you're not already subscribed to that channel, head on over there. It's youtube.com slash chatsportstv. This is going to go to loop. You're going to see us talking about the Raiders cutting to your whitehead.